In this video I will show you how to fix Fortnite not launching. We will be covering a few methods that can help you fix your issue. For the first method you will need to repair your easy anti-cheat. This application is essential for running Fortnite. And if there is something corrupted within the files of the program, you will have problems launching Fortnite. First off, you will need to find where you have installed Epic Games. To do that, you press the search button in the bottom left and write Epic Games. Then go over to the application, right click it and press open file location. Now after you get here, you find the launcher in this folder, right click and press properties. Then under target, you can go to the beginning and this is the installation folder of Epic Games. After you have seen that, go over to that folder for me it's local disk key then Epic Games, and now after you get inside of here, go over to Fortnite, then press Fortnite Game, then go into Binaries, Windows 64, open that up, and now you will need to go into the Easy Anti-Cheat folder. You might have two folders like me, but you will need to find the one that has this exact name of the file. Double left click and open up that file, and now as you can see, we have just opened up that. Here at the top, press this button and select Game 217, then press Repair Service. That is it for that method, now you can open up Fortnite and see if it will turn on. If it doesn't, you can move over to the next method. For the next method, we will be adding Fortnite as an exclusion to Windows Defender. The Defender might be blocking the game from running. To do that, navigate to the bottom left of your screen and press the search button. In there, write Windows Security and open up the application at the top. Now after you have gotten here, go over to Virus and Threat Protection, then go into Manage Settings in here, press that, scroll down and under the Exclusions tab, press Add or Remove Exclusions. After you have gotten inside of here, press the plus button at the top, then press Folder. And now go over to your Epic Games folder, then find Fortnite, press it and select the folder. Now you will have successfully added Fortnite as an exclusion to Windows Defender. Now you can try and run the game and see if it works. If it doesn't, move on to the next method. For the next method, you will need to verify the integrity of the game files. This method will check all of your Fortnite files and make sure that there aren't any that have been corrupted. If it finds some, it will fix them for you. To do that, open up the Epic Games Launcher, then go into Library, locate Fortnite right here, here it is. Then navigate and press the three dots right here and press manage. Then you can press the verify button at the top under the verify files section. Now after you have done that and it's completed, you can try running Fortnite and if you still have issues, move on to the next method. In this method, you will need to update your graphics card drivers. This might be causing an issue since Fortnite currently might not be compatible with all the drivers. To do that, go to the bottom left of your screen, press the search button, and in there write Device Manager. Open up the application at the top, and now after you have opened it up, just go over to the Display Adapter section, double left click it, locate the GPU that you're using, or graphic card, and then right click it and press Update Driver. Now you can search for them automatically or browse your computer for new drivers if you have downloaded them previously. For me, I'll just choose this, and when you get this pop-up at the top, then you can close this section right here, close this application, and try and launch Fortnite. If this doesn't fix it for you, move on to the next method. For the last method, you want to try restarting your PC. There might be something wrong with your operating system, and a quick restart might do the trick. If this doesn't help you, you can always try reinstalling the game as a last resort. Hopefully we helped fix your issue. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.